guys. How you doing? How you doing? Well, the sun is out today, so that's a good thing. Right, Bon Lai? And, uh, which means that if it's going to be a little drier, by the way, yes, it rained thunderously yesterday for a little bit. Um, and get something done. One of the things uh, that has been brought to my attention is that uh, the water pump, the well pump, um, needs work maybe. I guess well pump, uh, you know how, well maybe you don't, but anyway, so they drill a hole in the ground and then they put basically a PVC pipe, but it's got a the end of it just has a trap about that big, about, about, you know, about as big as your hand, probably smaller. But anyway, it's a trap, you know, basically kind of like a filter trap, um, just to stop big pieces from coming up the well water. And sometimes that just gets, you know, clogged or whatever. So you got to detach the well pump and everything, and you got to pull that pipe all the way out of there to replace that or otherwise check it to see why you know water it could be the well it dries up you know but I doubt that's the case here because there's a lot of rain and definitely a lot of saturation in the water I mean in the in the dirt so there's probably plenty plenty of water in the well or in the aquifer below but uh, so we'll probably have to pull that out today and you know the the water system that I made um, I'm gonna change that a little bit too I think so I can get better uh, better water flow rate from the last tank into the into the uh, you know reserve tank or the tank that we used for the house and stuff because it comes it comes in now when when the tanks are really full it'll come in very fast but as the third tank lowers so does this the flow of the water right or the volume and so um, I think I can increase that or maintain it uh, if I just lower the tank right now it's on a rack uh, on top of a cement platform and I think I can put the tank on the bottom on top of the cement platform which means the water doesn't have to come up as high to get in the tank. So the pressure is less, right? So it should feel faster. And, uh, yeah. Something like that. So, uh... Right. That's what we're going to try and do today. Investigate water systems. Among other things. I think we have to do laundry. <laughs> Alright, man. Let me get to it. Back at you. It's a beautiful day. For probably about an hour. No. Um, one of the things I thought I would show is, you remember I made that wall art on the cabin? And I put the bench there. And stuff, but I changed that a little bit. I still haven't put the cement down. But I did change the actual, you know, Put different plants got myself a little carabao head there and uh, but I dug out behind there I still got I'm gonna have to cement that maybe I can do that today but otherwise you see down here the rice has been uh, planted and there are birds that are eating the fresh rice and we don't want that because uh, that, you know, you gotta let the rice take hold and grow big enough so these birds won't deplete the seeds. That's what they do, so. We chase them away. Maybe big bangs or whatever. The same with the fish. The same with the fish. You know, you, you when they're small, you, uh, When they're small, 
you kind of try and protect them from the birds. The birds eat them, eat a lot of them if they're small. I mean, we, we bought them a little bit bigger for that purpose, you know, to kind of not have to worry too much. But they will come after them until, they, until they're a certain height, right, and, or length. Once they're big, you don't have a bird problem. Or at least you would rarely have a bird problem. So you just watch them, scare the birds away or whatever for the first few days or whatever. Few, oh, the fish probably a couple weeks, depends on how big you got them, but the birds, you know, maybe a week or so because uh, the rice grows pretty quick. It'll grow big enough pretty quick that you can get it away or the birds won't come anymore. Then the only time the birds come after that is after the rice has been, you know, harvested and then the ground has been tilled and then they come and different kind of birds actually will come and look for the snails and stuff, anything else will fish maybe they've been living in there. But yeah, so the pump, that's what I'm talking about. So, this is the actual pump. Um, and then the line goes down into the well. So what we have to do is, probably gonna have to cut that, because they don't have a screw in valve. Cut that one, and then pull this whole thing up, or cut it down here maybe, just as well, probably easier. And then pull that thing up, it's probably, I don't know, pretty long. 100 feet, 100 feet maybe, something like that. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. I can't remember, I, we did it before, like, you know, 15 years ago or something, but um, we'll check it out. Every once in a while, if you're dealing with a well, you're gonna have to, you know, service your well or otherwise you know, maintain the well know that you there are some things you're going to need to do check water levels or whatever if the water starts becoming too dirty or whatever see if uh, you know see what's going on but yeah that's uh what will get done and uh gotta do it with my my hand looks almost good huh i put a band-aid on it put a band-aid over the big old divot and the, and the scab that's in there but i still can't bend it uh, that's about it right there and you know it still just hurts so but I'll work through it all right man let me get back at it well I had to put some long sleeves on because all damp out here them mosquitoes Probably gonna use a, use a grinder, cutter. See how far it reaches. Could use my extension cord, but nah. It'll be alright. Probably water gonna come out of here. Yeah, maybe uh, electricity and water not not such a good idea. Oh, 
work. It's good that this thing is going over the treetop. The tree is supporting it, so that's cool. There it is. Well, huh? It looks fine. Nothing wrong with that pump, so or with that this filter. I know you can see this, but this is basically it. Small, not too many, uh, not too many holes. Now I just put it back in here without breaking it. be able to. piece was hanging up on that tree so it, it helped me when I was pulling it out but it hindered me when I was putting it back in but anyway I gotta I gotta clean that up put, put the uh, where's the uh oh I need a one inch coupling. Come on, give me a one inch coupling. Got it. Okay. Dry that up. Once in a while, I hear this bam. It's the fruit falling off the tree and landing on the roof, on the tin roof. You know, Dot had explained to me that uh, you know that it was pulling water and then it wasn't pulling water. So you know, she believed that it was you know partially clogged back there on that filter trap or whatever. Something, something, something she was familiar with, but uh, I'm gonna say no. So what I'm gonna do on this super pump is I'm gonna take out this bleed bolt down at the bottom, see if there's any gunk that's preventing the, you know, the fan blade or whatever, or the turbine for the water from going around. Maybe it's just got junk in there. I don't know. All right, well, let's check it out. I gotta get my ratchet. My fingers. I want to use them, but dang, man, old people problems. I probably should have checked out the problem first, like you know run the pump and see if there's any 
and see what the water problem. She was saying it was sucking up water and then it wasn't. Which is kind of weird. So, I'm going to have to on these pumps, if you let the water out like that, I got to prime it. Don't sound right. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Well, the water ain't coming out of the hose. What's up? Need stuff to hear with that before I glued that, but anyway.
Yeah. Well, I think I have to cut that again. Okay, so I had to actually cut it again so I could fill the pipe up with water, basically prime the whole well pipe, and then uh, and then go ahead and fill from here, which would maybe fill just the rest of this, so that the whole system was primed. And then turned on the pump, and it was fine. Let's see if it still is. I did it a minute ago, but... Feels like it. And then uh, I got the hose over there, I can see the hose. Maybe you can see it. Water coming out pretty strong, so yeah. That is the fix for that. But this, uh, this is what I'm talking about with the tank. I'm a uh, I'm gonna have to cut the. I'm gonna cut the pipe here. I'm gonna cut the pipe here. I don't know if I can see it. Where is it? Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the pump so I can get empty this, and then take this metal off the rack off and set that on the ground. And then uh, when I set it on the ground, I'm all gonna. Well, I'm gonna probably have to cut that pipe, and you know. Anyway, that's the task. The task is to relocate that reservoir so that uh, there's a faster rate of flow from this third tank. This third tank has to come out of that valve pretty quick in order to fill the tank with good clean water. We've been mixing it a little bit with the second tank because it's kind of clean water, but I don't want to do that no more, man. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the pump's working, and I have lowered the tank to the that cement platform I made. We hooked up the pump. This is what it looks like. So before it was on that rack, you know. We lowered it, got this set up the other way. The water now comes out of there much clearer, 100% more clear. And it's just coming out of that one valve right there on the third tank on the bottom. This one goes up into that tank. But I also have this valve open that goes to the fountain out there and the reason for that is I think that the pump works too hard to push the water into this first tank from the bottom so it can't push that volume so there's like backflow or something so what I did is I opened that up to let some of the pressure go to the fountain and the other pressure to go to this tank at a slower rate, but it's still going because I can see it, which means it'll transfer. It'll just take a little longer. But I might be saving the pump, so. All right, we'll check back at it. I think it was successful. Yeah. All right, then. Next video.